This is the video review for Transformers Universe um, Classics 2.0 Ultra Class Power Glide. And I did say Ultra Class and Power Glide in the same sentence. He is no longer the little mini bot, which was about this tall. He is an Ultra Class figure. Um, and a curse on Optobotamus for uh, his Power Glide review. I was planning on just waiting for the Henke release and buying the, which is going to be all red with a little bit of white and, and a little bit more G1 accurate. And then I saw his review and had to go down out and hunt down a Power Glide on my own. So it was a good review. Uh, made me go out and buy a toy I hadn't planned on getting. As you can see, he's he's still uh, based off of an A-10 Warthog. And he does have the machine gun down here, which sadly uh, the missile does bend a little bit. If you store it with the missile in there, it's I don't it doesn't bother me that much. I have seen it pointed out in other reviews, and I just figured I'd take the time to say that yes, it will bend if you if you have that there. Um, it's very slight; it doesn't bother me. I um, mean, he also has landing gear um, under here, like right here, that flip out, and under here. I generally don't use them. Uh, that when the landing gear kind of makes him tilt forward and look weird on it, and they stick out way back from behind the engine, and he sits just as level if you have all the landing gear folded up with the gun attached. So. That's how I display him. He does have uh, the cockpit and the clear orange bits on the thrusters here light up with the sound button. Um, he does have three sounds. They're the same as um, silver bolts, actually. It's, you hear uh, a jet flying by, uh, machine gun fire, and um, a jet powering up. Uh, the only difference between that and silver bolts, they're, they're the exact same sound effects. Uh, they're in a slightly different order here, where you hear the, uh, from from the jet powering up noise, you hear the jet powering up, jet flying by, and machine gun, whereas with Silverbolt, you hear the uh, jet flying by, then the jet powering up, and then the machine gun. But other than that, they're the exact same sound effect. Uh, to start transformation, I usually go ahead and just pull the gun off. And then you flip, take these rear pieces and flip them down. And flip them up like this, or flip them. Instructions say to flip them down like this. I usually don't because that ends up it ends up very silly behind the head. I usually flip them down this, just fold them up so they're straight this way. Um, this whole assembly rotates around, and then this piece flips down. Then you lift up the cockpit here and flip the entire assembly around like that. You hear the transformation noise as this piece plugs in, and when you unplug it, you hear the transformation noise the other way, which is really cool. Uh, waist piece flips up and tabs in. Flip his legs down. You want to flip them around so they're facing backwards at this point, and then rotate the whole waist piece around for it to be facing forward. Then extend the legs, and then flip the feet forward. At this point, you can um, flip his head up and turn it around and flip this jet piece down. Now, you see, here's where I'm talking about the tail fins. This way, they sit behind the head down, otherwise, they'd be sticking up like that, and I think that looks silly. And then you uh, take these pieces and flip it all the way around, flip that down one notch, and then there's a tab and a notch here. Just peg that up into there, and do the same thing on this side, and then peg it right in, you hear the machine gun noise. This panel does sit right on top of the button, so you can make the machine gun noise, and you can see his eyes and chest light up when you do that in robot mode. And from here, it's just a matter of the arms and then sliding this piece forward here to pop out the hands. The uh, wings tabbing on here seems to be kind of hit or miss. Um, some people say they have really tight tabs. Some people say they're really loose. Mine are about in between. Sometimes the arms will come untabbed. Um, but usually it requires a little bit of force, although it's not. This side is much tighter than this side on mine. So it's kind of middle in quality control, but it's not its not the end of the world. He does stay together fairly well. Um, his gun can be held a 
you can hold you can have them hold it like if you want to take them you can take the missile out and just have them hold it like a regular pistol this way um, which some say looks better um, instructions have you face it this way with the missile missile facing out and um, I kind of like it that way it, it reminds me a lot of the uh, Stargate guns where you kind of hold them cl closer to the front I just think it's kind of neat um, but again, that's, it's all personal preference when you display him. Um, he does have a nice range of motion in the shoulders, um, biceps, swivel, ratchets, uh, no wrist articulation. Um, he can turn at the waist, uh, ratchet hips, um, knees, legs tilt. He does have a very slight amount of side-to-side -side articulation in his feet. Not much, but it, enough so that he can spread them just a little bit and... Uh, and have them stand. Again, he's standard ultra class height. He's a little taller at the head than Silverbolt, um, although Silverbolt wins overall with a little pointy jet bit on his back. I'm um, also next to a Deluxe here. He is next to Sunstreaker, so much larger than the Power Glide of old, who would have stood about yay tall. And one of the last little surprises here, I guess not really a surprise at this point since everybody mentions it, but if you open up his chest, there's a reference to the uh, the girl who loved Power Glide episode and that he does have a little heart molded into his chest. Um, and like I said, I hadn't planned on picking him up until the uh, Henke release came out because um, I think the red looks a little better, but I saw Optobotomus' review and had to at least go out and fiddle with him because he looked interesting enough to play with and he definitely is proportions are a little wonky um, they're not as wonky as some pictures online have have made it look um, they're a little off but overall I mean like the transformation scheme and everything I feel is is a lot more interesting is certainly interesting enough to make him worth picking up and again almost a direct contrast to Silverbolt Silverbolt has a very simple transformation that he looks cool in robot mode but um, he definitely suffers in the playability. Um, whereas Power Glide looks a little off in, in robot mode, but um, but the fun of transformation really makes up for it. Um, definitely worth the price. Um, again, he's not my number one favorite figure in the classics, but he's de he's definitely higher up on the list. I, I like him. I like him a lot more than I thought I was going to. And um, and I'd recommend picking him up if if you have a slight if, if you have any interest in the character. I recommend picking him up. So there you have it, uh, the review of Transformers Universe Ultra Class Power Glide.